Hi guys, it's Confused Friend Online here. Today's episode of SOMA features heavy topics, including themes of suicide and self-harm. Please stay safe and watch at your own discretion. Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of SOMA. My name is Confused Friend Online and you are on my channel. I suck at video games so that you don't have to. Here we have SOMA. This is whatever fucking part it is. Um, yeah, I don't- I honestly don't remember what part this is. It's probably like eight or nine, I think. Um, but in any case, if this is your first video you're ever watching, I suggest that you jump to the front. Uh, I do have a playlist for all of my SOMA videos, so just navigate your way to that and you'll be able to start right from the beginning, because you're going to be quite confused, but thoroughly entertained if you just start here. That being said, it is time for the ceremonial lighting of the candle and as is tradition with soma that is going to be the fragrance black cherry merlot so if you have some of that by you light her up because we gonna be on that vibe bitch everything's all nice and lit up i've got my drinky drink which is diet sun kissed in case you're curious and here we go Simon and Catherine are going to Theta, where they hope to find the Dunbat, a vehicle made for extreme pressure environments. Only with the Dunbat will they be able to enter the Abyss and find the Lost Ark. So we're going to Theta. I think we found Theta, and we're about to go in. I think, because I remember we killed a man that was trapped inside of a robot of sorts. Um, and I don't remember much beyond that. Oh yeah, then we took the the giant bug looking thing that looked kind of like an alien type isopod and carried us. <coughs> oh yeah, we did. Uh... Do we have Catherine? We do. Okay, cool. This is so loud. Hold on, I'm just gonna turn down my volume just a little bit. I love the immersion, but not when it's making my ears bleed. My flashlight with me. Whoa. Big. There's fish. Yeah. Oh, fish, fish. Okay. Strasky, wake up, Dr. Masters. We're bringing in anchors. What's wrong? What can I say? He's had a rough day. Jesus He's all butchered by structure shrapnel. Ooh. Well, turned in a number on him. Brandon, flip the panic switch on the seat. I don't want to burn through the oxygen. You're kidding, right? He's fucking hanging on by a thread. We need to move him. Strasky, get the infirmary ready. We need to move fast. Wait, where are Kumarabi and the others? This is all we got. The guest is still at Delta. I can't do this on my own. Grab the other side. Jeez. Strask, ready or not, we're coming in. Okay. All right. See you soon. Oh, that's fun. Fun little track there. Ooh, what are you? There's so much bioluminescence going on. Should I be going towards red blinking lights? Probably not. Am I? Absolutely. This thing on? Can everyone hear me? Yeah, sure Please can. Drop. Listen up, all members of staff. The art project has caused a lot of arguments the last few months. I bet. I'm not going to pretend I understand what the hell Sarang talked about and how his continuity suddenly made sense to kill yourself. <laughs> For the fucking love what? of God, or whatever you think is important, don't kill yourself. This place is miserable enough. Don't force your friends to clean up your blood. Rest in peace. Quality. Good? Beautiful, sir. All right, everyone. Show's over. Get back to work. Was there like a mass suicide or something? That's what it's sounding like. In any case, we need to find the Dunbat.
There we go. Get that pulled out. Okay. All right. There we go. No idea what that did. I'm gonna get a step out of the way, actually. I think. Just in case it, like, something bursts out of there. Oh, there's several gates. Flashlight is useless here. Ooh. Nice. <gasps> We're in the dungeon. Oh. Hey, this is a much bigger drain chamber than we're used to. Froze for a second there. Ooh. Hello? Anyone there? Well, Catherine, we found Theta. Nice. Well, oh, and we got a saving icon. Jeez. jump over the thing. Rude. Oof. Bloody bloody. Everything's shut down. I'm guessing I'm following the blood path over to where that was. Access denied. There's water flowing. I know what it wants me to do. Break it through the window. Shoop. Can I please be let in? Find a place to plug in Catherine. 
Ooh, this works. Let's yeah, there she it. is. We're here. Okay, great. Time to hijack ourselves a submarine. There will be nothing stopping us when we have the done that. You guys sure have a lot of machines and vehicles down here. Oh, hell yeah. What makes this one so special? It's the only transport that can go into the abyss without cracking like a can of soup. If this is one of a kind, then how did they get the Ark down the abyss in the first place? That's a good question. I suppose they did it the hard way and just walked. Didn't realize that was an option. Neither did I. Kath, what's it like inside the Ark? Is it like a movie or a virtual reality? No, of course not. It's, you know, like real life, but slightly better. <laughs> Pleasant temperature, clean air, good weather. So people in the Ark just walk around pretending it's the real world? You don't have to pretend. It's perfectly immersive. And it can just sustain itself? Yes. Attached to a probe fueled by solar panels, it could survive for thousands of years. That's amazing. Just thinking yeah. about the Earth being what it is and us setting out to save the final remains of humanity, it's... It's... Heroic? Uh, at least it feels worth doing. <laughs> Here we go. The Dunbat. Ah, oh, damn it. I knew it was too good to be true. What's wrong? Everything's it's... too good to be true. It's... it's quarantined? Hold on. We need a security cipher. How bad is it? It's we don't write these things down type of bad. Maybe someone's still around who can tell us what it is. Hmm. Sure, let's go with that. I'll just unlock the other doors for you so you can explore the station. Thanks, Kath. Thank you, Catherine. Appreciate it. Oof. Oh, I love that lovely do not enter sign. It's going to be real effective at keeping me out. All systems operational. The sub boat is intact. The armor is intact. Life support. Wow. Air clean. Medium temperature. 13 Celsius. Pressure at 2 point. Okay. This is where we are. Oh, wow. Looks like all your friends moved downstairs. Why abandon the gate? In the habitat? That's so strange. Whew. I don't like this at all. Oh, uh, that's that's a lot of people. Guests. Cool. I'm not gonna remember any of those names. Do I take you with we me? We need to Catherine? find someone who knows the cipher. It's the only way to fire up the Dunbat. Or I can just puzzle it out. Perhaps. Oh, this is the bathroom. Of course, you didn't unlock the bathroom. What if we had to go pee? But... Right, we're robots. We can't pee. <laughs> Why did it take me this long to figure that out? Okay, well. What about this? Let's go next door. Or not. Sheesh. Okay, I want to explore everything in the gate first, so... Why was that the timing? I did not like that. Right, well... That is unsettling. this floor. Not good at either. It's like they all just clear out. What in the world? Thanks for the 
Thanks, Stromar. That's a real helpful report. Be quiet. The proxy listens. What happened to Theta? No explanations anywhere. Kind of sounds like a warning. Jeez. Sounds like screaming down there. And I do not like that. It still sounds like screaming. That's gonna break down and I'm not gonna be able to get back up. So, we're gonna explore this section later. As soon as we explore everywhere else. Cause I have a feeling I'm not gonna be able to come back up from that. Just a, just a, just a thought. Just a feeling. That still doesn't inspire confidence, by the way. Alright, what's in here? So do I, Catherine. We're on the same, like the same to keep close to the shuttle station in case something went wrong. You're really stuck on that one. I'm just worried about my colleagues. going on in here. Yeah, this way looks clear enough. doors that I can't see through. What? This is where I did my scan. And all the others, I suppose. This looks like where you I did remember? my scan. My scan was the first. Had to test the scanner before I could start making promises. Ooh, I get to... Pilot seat. Oh God. Uh, Strasky, come in. I need help in the lab, the scan room. What happened? Conrad killed himself after the scan. Jesus, how? Uh, maser tool. What should I do? I'm gonna need to tell Strohmeyer. No, please. I'm so close. Strohmeyer's gonna shut down the art project. It's not my fault. People keep killing themselves. Catherine, what are you gonna do? It's not like you can sneak a 300 pound body out of the lab. I know. Catherine, are you okay? Not even close. Jeez, Catherine. The amount of guilt you must be carrying because of people just offing themselves because. The way she describes the world in the arc is better than the real world. That's perfect.
way she describes it as better than the real world is if it really is, then why wouldn't people kill themselves and just live on virtually? Error code, and with the connect mainframe, please reset the router and the sub-level vault for contact maintenance. Uh, that's in the bottom floor. Ugh. Ah, I see. What? Check the terminal. I just want to make sure. Okay. Uh, Nanami composition. Type compressed na uh, Nakajima neurograph. Continuous time 21 min minutes. C captured on March 12th, 2014. Oh, that is the closest to our time than we've seen. Subject name Nanami, sex, female, birth, December 11th, 1997, death. July 17th, 2021, nationality, Japan. I am not to raise that data. What about bird? Type, compressed Nakajima neurograph, continuous time, six minutes, captured April 28th, 2015. Author, David Munchie. That motherfucker. How much do one bet he invented? David Munchie is the one that invented the brain scans that were able to capture a person so completely that they could go into the virtual. That motherfucker. Munchie. David Munchie. How did this? What is this? It's April twentieth, twenty fifteen. Author Paul Berg. Subject name: David Munchie. Sex: Male. Birth October 4th, 1950. Death May 23rd, 2078. Holy. Can you actually, that's, that's a pretty good lifespan. Nationality Canadian. Jared. Kath, what is this? Why do you have a file of me? You are one of Dr. Munchie's templates, a legacy scan. The fuck is a legacy scan? Simon Jarrett type compressed Nakajima neurograph continuous time five minutes captured May second, twenty fifteen by David Munchie. Subject Simon Jarrett, sex male, birthday July sixteenth, nineteen eighty eight, death June first of twenty fifteen. God, a month later. A little under a month later. One day under a month. He killed himself. Post scan, so immediately after the scan. Okay, that's it. Wow. That was fun. That's a relief. Still figuring this out, so. It was freaky. So many lights. What do we do now? Paul and I are gonna run tests for a week or so, and then we'll work out a roadmap for your recovery. Well, I feel excited. Can't wait to get back to the living. Damn. May 20th. It's like 11 days before he killed himself. We've worked everything out. Everything is legal. Vouched for by Dr. Peak and Professor Wei. Oh, that's great news. No big change in medication. You'll be taking an aspirin every morning, but that's about it. Paul worked out a diet with some variations you should try out. You can continue doing physical therapy. Also, there's some extra cardio training every other day. Okay, getting complicated. Don't worry, it's really not. We're gonna keep an eye on you every week, so we'll be able to adjust the plan if needed. The day Simon died. The model was sound. It should have worked. It's not your fault, David. I really wish things had turned out differently. It failed. Yeah, me too. I was supposed to save you. Hey, you got my brain on file. Maybe you can put it to some use. <laughs> yeah, who knows? You'd be okay with that? Using it for my research? Sure. It's like a part of me lives on or something. Like a donated organ. <sighs> you know what sucks about dying? What? The crash. Everything up till now, the brain damage, you guys, everything. 
It's made my life so much more real. I started thinking about all the things I was going to do. I'd never been more excited to be alive. All that hope. Wasted. Simon didn't kill himself. What's a legacy? Story? He just died. They're historic templates for AI construction. Any self-respecting engineer wouldn't use legacies anymore, but they're great for learning. They come with every development kit. So my brain scan turned into a template for artificial intelligence. You should be proud. So much for that mystery. No magic or time travel needed. I was here all along. Waiting for someone to shove a picture of my brain into a suit and hit the power button. Wait, then who the fuck did that? To begin with. No wonder everything was so... different. Oh. That's just the lights. It probably didn't do anything with still. You know what? Thought so. What gets me is that the cameras, they are on. And that concerns me. At least my mildly. Welcome to my place. When I started the art project, I pretty much lived in this lab. Cozy. Oh, wait. Aha! Lights. Who are you? Simulation assets. <gasps> the legacy scan of me that was on the computer. What did you use it for? It's a template that has an intelligence pathwork already etched into the base. So if I wanted to build an AI, I wouldn't have to reinvent a whole model. I would be able to focus on the things that the AI is to be used for. Is every AI self-aware? Do they also think they're Simon? What? No, Simon. Don't worry. It's not like we just put people into robots and machinery and let them run free. That'd be really cruel. It doesn't work like that. Or at least it didn't used to work like that. Truly sentient machines. Thinking they are people is definitely new. But you kept them sentient for the Ark. Yes, and I basically had to invent the method. She's got a little defensive, but fair enough. Same thing, let me guess. Up of the vaults. Figures. Oh. Need to fix that mainframe connection. Yeah. Fuck. Let's up with a vault. Because, uh, of course, I'm just going to keep this on my person just in case. Because, like, who knows? What if I fuck up and die and then I lose it forever? Unlikely, but anxiety says otherwise. This is where I would store the ARC scans. Are they similar to my legacy file? No, yours is flatter, if that makes sense. Less dynamic. Thanks. That makes me feel much better. Okay. Oh. What are you... Fast. Oh, these are all the fucking legacy Broken. I need to find someone that's alive. One of the files Damaged. that's still intact. Alright, next. None of those. There's only two sides per file, it looks like. It'll be glinting purple. <gasps> you. An intact memory chip. If we're lucky, we might be able to extract the cipher from it. I just want to see if there's any others. Because, like, the more memory chips, the more of a likelihood we'll be we'll find something good, right? you 
bigger sample size, bigger results, or whatever, insert scientific mumbo jumbo here. Yeah, that was the only one, okay, cool. So what do I have in my inventory right now? Memory chip. Well then. God. That is a lot to have happened in such a short amount of time. I'm surprised Simon didn't have anything to say about, you know, him being, like, dying. He just went straight to, oh, so these are the brain scans and this is how they work? Like, bro, why are you not having an existential crisis right now? What? Okay, that's crazy. That's crazy. Damn. Well, I think this is a gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous place. Stop this video. I'm hoping you guys are as A, invested, and B, having as much as fun, as much fun as I am playing this game. Or, I guess in your case, watching me play this game. It's fine, it's no different than football. Um, once again, thank you so much for watching this video, joining me in this quasi horror game um i'm having loads of fun i hope you guys are too all right everybody take a look down underneath the window screen of this video you'll see a couple little buttons there there's a subscribe button with a bell attached i suggest that you click both of those that way you'll know when the next episode drops uh there's also something called a little like button you can click that or press dislike i'd like attention either one will be fine so and if you are feeling especially generous, feel free to go down to that description below and check out my Patreon. That way I can pay my editor. Because currently he is unpaid. Love you, Chris, and all that you deal with. <laughs> Alrighty, everybody, once again, I am having a wonderful time. I hope you are too. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. See ya! I'd like to thank everybody for joining me for today's gaming sesh. I love video games, and I love sharing that passion with others even more. None of this YouTube stuff would be possible without you guys. Though we are small in numbers, I figured I'd offer you more ways to support the channel other than just subscribing to my YouTube. My solution? Subscribe to my Patreon. This will help me buy games to expand the scope of entertainment for you to consume here on my channel. It will also help me pay my lovely editor, Chris. The button to sub on my channel is down below, and then below that, in the description, is the link to sub to my Patreon. I hope to meet you there. See ya!